Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. Day 7 of fall. We're in there deep. It's gonna be cloudy tomorrow. That, I chose the weather again. Oh! Don't move that. This song really sounds like a Subnautica song. In fact, it sounds almost exactly like uh, one of the Below Zero songs. Spirits are very happy. Okay, good. I, I'm assuming that was a star drop. I couldn't quite see it. And we have a new recipe here. Tortillas! cool oh no that's not new i thought it didn't say rerun though maybe i got that from somewhere else sure enough tortilla just corn huh i should uh save a bad corn for that then Alrighty, welcome back to the world as usual uh it looks like our barn actually finished up there as usual our goal is getting money because the barn is absolutely i accidentally grabbed that that's okay i can put it more in the middle then our goal is absolutely to get this deluxe barn going the next amount of money that we need is actually going to be twenty-five thousand, and this is unfortunate because that's going to take a while to get but hey the cows are here and i guess because there wasn't any food out they're mad why am i just putting it back yeesh there have some hay oh i thought there were 10 spots well they're not going to give any milk today unfortunately however we do have more room to add in more animals than we would a uh, regular thing and we also have more animal options this is the first time that we've upgraded a animal structure i'm realizing so that's neat i need to start getting to getting around to building a fence around these animal enclosures but of course i still have like the honey in the way so there's complications with that anyway so today is sunday which means i need to go on a foraging trip not only because things are going to reset on monday when all of the everything goes back to not this looks so good there's so much on mondays everything ungrows i guess you could say and so we need to make sure that we grab all of our foraging items but also i want to get to level 9 foraging and i don't think that that's going to be possible today which is unfortunate because the thing that we are we've been trying to get our foraging level up for happens tomorrow so the goals for the day number one get money which i'll probably get through foraging items finding them on the ground and number two to hopefully level up our foraging skill and because of this i'm going to go down and take a trip through cinder sap forest so hopefully we can find something down there do i have two maple syrups because i just might this area has been like oddly overgrown hold on let me cut down some of these saplings get rid of the fibers because nothing's gonna grow if there's way too many things right next to each other. Uh, I can clear these out as well. All right, so I'm going to clean out my inventory and then we're gonna get a move on. All right, I'm ready to go. I am still thinking about adding another corn and don't worry, I'm not forgetting anyone's birthday. I, uh, it's unfortunate. I had it in my head that nothing really happens for a while and so i didn't think to even check to see if there was going to be any birthdays coming up and sure enough i ended up missing elliot which is unfortunate just realized i should check over here because a lot of forging items tend to grow over here got a hazelnut and that is it baby big gains big gains and actually, this is going to be a pretty fruitful trip into Cindersat Forest because not only are we going to be able to get to the get some foraging experience, but we're also going to have to go to the traveling merchant and go check out what else we can buy. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy an animal outright currently because, like I said, Deluxe Barn, hello. Hi, Shane. You look unusually happy today. You're right. I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. 
Let me guess. Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer. Good one. No, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer, and I feel great. You know, sometimes I forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. He looks sharp. <laughs> Still in the ratty old hoodie, though. Hi, Jess. I've got something for you. These are real bunny jewel slippers. But these are so expensive. How did you afford that? Listen, listen, when I was like 10, I did not have a concept of money and prices. I cut back on, expen on an expensive habit. I'll have a lot more spending money now. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, uh, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Oh boy. You get a lot of these really much more special scenes once you start getting into higher friendship levels. Look at these chitchens. That should do it. It's the perfect home for you hens. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks. Nothing like those pale sickly Joja eggs. <sighs> you know, Charlie, I was thinking. A guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair. Know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? Hey Rob, so what do you think? My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. I... Well, I won't be living here forever. And I wanted to pass something on to Jas. I've been teaching her how how to care for them. I want to feel I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I can contribute somehow, even in this small way like this. Blue Chichen. And I believe we're allowed to go in there whenever we want now. No, it's locked. Never mind. But Hey, now you know what's back there. I want to talk to Shane real quick. If I was, if I watch more TV, maybe I can forget about life. That would be relaxing. Man, okay. So that last scene, kind of, it bothers me not because of the scene. That's a great, great ending scene if you don't, you know, pursue, pursue a relationship with Shane. Uh, I will say this because I don't plan on marrying Shane. I'm very, very sorry. But... If you, so when you marry someone, they get their own room in the house, in your house. And Shane's room has beer bottles littered on the floor. And I'm sorry, but why? Because you're, you're almost guaranteed to go through those scenes if you choose to marry Shane. So like, what's up? Yeah, we can get a goat. It's 4,000. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, we have a chance of getting a blue chicken now. So let's try and go for one of them. Brown chicken. You love to see it. Uh, Norder, I can't change that. You know what? Four chickens. White chicken. Ugh. Gracody. I'll do one more. No, I need to save money. Ugh. Well, we can buy a goat now. I'm not sure if I want to slap down the 4,000 gold, but it is a bit more lucrative than a cow is in terms of returns. Just know that whenever you get a more expensive animal, it's always going to be a better option than the cheaper animals. Well, almost always. Ducks used to be pretty dang useless. No, no, I messed up again. Sorry, I probably did that. Yo, what do you got? 
puffer fish, blue jazz, cave carrot. You know, honestly, if you had a truffle, a cranberry seed, there's no reason. Parsnip, battery pack, coconut, coffee bean. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I will say that much. Well, let's go to the forest because I do need to try and get as much forging experience as I can. And you can always pick up a ton of stuff in there and also cut down the hardwood trees. So I'll go do that. I guess since I'm exploring the level level up system a bit more intricately this episode, I'll talk about exactly how much experience everything gives you. So for foraging, if you cut down a hardwood stump, that is the most experience you can get in one lump for foraging, and you get 25 experience. For cutting down a tree, it is 12 experience, and then finishing off the stump is one experience. Cutting these little sticks on the ground doesn't really give you anything because they're kind of just considered debris and you, you clear them out for your own convenience at that point. Uh, if you pick up a foraged item, I want to say every single foraged item picked up is seven experience. And ugh, I wanted to say that I'm pretty sure you get double the experience if you have the, what is it, the botanist profession, which gives you a chance to pick up two but I'm not 100% confident on that, so I'm not going to confirm, but I will confirm on screen right now if I remember to put it on screen. So how does that sound? Uh, have we picked up mixed seeds? We have. Mixed seeds are basically a free hundred or so gold on average, so there's no reason not to grab as many as I can. Since this fiber does grow back, I want to say every week, not sure about that. I know it grows back every season, that's for darn sure. All right, I'm done cutting down trees. I don't want to use up all of my energy on it. I will say I'm almost 100% certain that we're not going to be able to hit level 10 because the requirements that you need to hit every single level increases by, not exponentially, it's not that drastic, but it increases by a lot. So for instance, Level 9, you need 10,000 experience to go from level 8 to level 9. To go from level 9 to level 10, you need... Oh, you need 15,000 experience, which is, yeah, a lot more. And so that can take... Honestly, that can take a whole season in and of itself, so I wouldn't really expect to just start doing things and suddenly, oop, you've gotten that fat level up stack but usually focusing on something long enough is enough to you know give yourself a little boost i am going to go to the oh wow two worms huh oh worm usually i don't know what i was gonna say focusing on it does give you a bit of an advantage obviously it's been a while since we've been to the tide pools and there is absolutely nothing i wonder if the, wonder if the tide pools roll over on a different day than everything else. That's like my 25th trilobite. I've gotten such a ridiculous amount. Those aren't always mushrooms, are they? Weird. All right, 8 p.m. Wow, this day really came and went. I don't know what I did. Oh, I bought three chickens, that's what I did. Or did I buy two? I don't know. I think I bought three, didn't I? Crazy. But hey, further down the line, that's just going to mean more mayonnaise for us, and that's going to be more daily profits, so not a big deal. Hey, what you got here? Oh yeah, look, Jody's birthday is next, and that's not until the 11th. Green algae to rub on your sore toe. You know what? We have, like, no relationship with Willie, so anything that can increase that will be useful. Sunday night, who's up? the usual suspects don't even have to bother with emily anymore because she's maxed out she's not going to go down pam i ought to finish her up oh god i ought to finish pam up because once i get her to full friendship she won't yeah okay you're not very nice she won't be decaying next up next closest would be maru sam and sebastian Seban sebastian should be not too terribly difficult but yeah there's as much as i hate to say it once you like get good friendship with someone there's no reason to talk to them anymore 
Eggplant Parmesan. That's an increase in mining and defense. Hmm, that could be useful coming up, actually. Well, not soon, but coming up sometime in the future. I'm also going to do the loop north of town just to find any extra forageables. And we'll call it a day. Oh, another scene. Guess it's not often I walk into the mountains at night. Rob, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. Wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. It's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Learned how to craft wild bait. That's actually a really, really good thing. Hold on, let me show that off real quick. So what wild bait does is it gives you a chance, I wanna say about 50% chance, to catch two of the fish you just caught at the same time. It costs fiber, bug meat, and slime for five. Which isn't bad, that's for darn sure. Uh, what is the recipe for normal bait? Okay, it's one bug meat for five bait. So it's, you know, it's a bit of an investment, but it's still pretty dang worth it, in my opinion. Especially if you just have... Those are three things that you might just have a ridiculous amount of and need to get rid of, and that's an easy way to do it. All right, well, it's pretty late, and I did not find any more forgeables, unfortunately. So... I think we're just gonna have to call it pickled corn. Good stuff. Go ahead and put that in here. Uh, I have quite a bit to sell, don't I? Hold on. First of all, boom. All right, let's see. Blackberry, wild plum, common mushroom, and I already have the hazelnut. I think I only have one hazelnut, don't I? That's unfortunate. No more, because I think that's what's stopping us. Yeah, well, that's fine. Blackberry. I should plant. I have six mixed seeds from that. So I should plant those. I have 11 total though. Hmm. Choices. I don't know what to do with those. Okay. Pickled corn. Well, as we now know, we can make use of slime to make wild bait. So I actually, you know what? I'll grab all of our slime from here and put it in there. We've got 15 bug meat. Let me just grab those real quick. What else did it want? I can't recall. Fiber, which we just have a ridiculous amount of. So, bada boom, bada bing. 15 wild bait. And I'll use that on whenever. I guess I'll save it for whenever we really have something good. <sighs> Put everything in we can. And I'll organize my inventory a bit here. See you in a second. Alrighty. Just gonna go ahead and slap these in, because why not? Uh, hey, I should do something for the preserves jar. What do I have? I have spice berries. I should, you know what? Tomorrow I'm going to buy some grapes and I'm going to plant them because not only are they a loved item by, oh, what's that kid's name? I forget, but that'll complete all those summer bundles and will make life a lot easier for us. I could pickle, I don't know, I'll just take a spice berry because we have a ridiculous amount of them. Bonk. Anyway, tomorrow all of our cranberries should be done, so we should be getting fat gains from that, so I'm excited. Don't forget to pet the cat. 
Yeah, sure enough, no foraging up level up. That's fine. It's not that important. It would just have been nice if we could have gotten it, I suppose. But we'll survive. Somehow, we will. Good morning, day to fall. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller we have. Mildly perturbed, who cares? And then living off the land. It's blackberry season. Fun fact, this used to come up on day four of fall in version 1.4, but they changed it in 1.5. Or maybe it was 1.3 and they changed it in 1.4. I don't know for sure. It's blackberry season. Bushes across the countryside are overflowing with ripe fruit. Just go outside and see for yourself. So, as you know from salmon berries, hello, Marnie. Good morning, Mr. Rob. Came by to ask you a favor since you're such a kind neighbor. I see so many notifications. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you could bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye. Sweet. Cool. Well, that's simple because we already have cave carrots. Dear neighbor, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. Wow, hold on. Did we get like a an important friendship threshold with Marty just by talking to her yesterday? Well, we got the ingredient for pale broth, or the whatever. Dear Rob, I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. Hope you find it as interesting. It's a bream. Wow. Sometimes people will just randomly send you things. Oh, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I'd like to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Well, we have quite a list of things to do today, don't we? Good lord. Well, in that case, I guess our to-do list today will be get a bunch of tasks done. So let's look here. Blackberry basket. I know where to find that, so we'll go grab that. Uh, we'll grab a cave carrot to bring to Marnie. Is it a cave carrot? A cave carrot. Cool. We have the green algae delivery for Willy, which I don't know why he doesn't have any, considering he goes fishing every day. I'm going to smack that into our iridium rod. Uh, we don't have a bobber for it. Hold on. Do we have a bobber in here somewhere? Let's see. Well, what can we craft for a bobber right now? Oh, yeah. Magnet is bait, by the way. It's not a bobber. I mean, I could just use a spinner to catch more often. Increases the size of the fishing bar. Fish escapes slower. Fishing bar clings to the fish. That doesn't work too well in my experience. It's better just to have a bigger bar so you know what you're doing. Yeah, we'll just make a spinner. Who cares? Smack that in. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I'll put the bait for back for now. Sell all that. Put that in. Okay, what else are we doing? Marnie needs amaranth. Oh, I need to buy and plant that. Whoops. Wait, no, that's summer, isn't it? Rip. Uh, skull key. Is that it? Crop research. Demetrius needs a melon, of which we don't have one. We don't have a melon, right? Okay, I was hoping I didn't just overlook that somehow. Well, well we can actually milk our cows today. What a concept. And we also have an absolute ton of chickens. I guess I should make some more mayonnaise plants, shouldn't I? Blackberries. So, okay. Unfortunately, so, okay. So we know from salmonberry season that every four levels in foraging, you get an extra berry from the bushes. Currently, we are level eight, so we will get two berries from each bush. If I were to reach level nine... We currently have a survival burger that I banked such a long time ago. Where is that survival burger? Did I put it over here? Yeah, we have a survival burger that I got a long time ago. Adds plus three to foraging. So if I were to reach level nine, I could have eaten this and hit level 12. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat it because it's kind of going to be useless to us for the foreseeable future. Goodbye, sunflower honey. Yeah, I don't need it. Uh, I just had a thought. I should save a mayonnaise for cooking recipes. Let me just glitch my cat out of the way. But 
And the reason not to save some of the mana is I doubt we'll be eating oak resin. Put a milk in there. Who cares? In fact, if I put a milk in, it should be a small milk. Put a bream because it's a fish. Just so, like, whenever I need to, I can open up my fishing options and just go crazy with it. All right. Absolutely cannot forget to water my plants. Soon we'll be getting fairy rose uh, honey, and I'm very excited for that. Oh, God, where to start now? So oak resin can go away. Sell that. Did I see? Okay, I thought I saw iron bars in there. I can go get my geodes broken open because we've got quite a few of those. Yeah, let's uh, let's go crazy. Let's go do some requests. Also, hold on, cranberries. How are they looking? Break these open, we get three berries. They sell for a bit more. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let me just check my farming level, seven. Get ready for that to say eight real quick. So every cranberry tree actually gives us two cranberries. So we're about to get a lot. I have no idea how much I actually planted, so. That number will be a surprise to me too. Didn't I plant like 40? Two more eggplants down here. See, this is the lovely kind of thing you get to do when, a, when you have an auto farm. Just absolutely go crazy. You can hold down the button to pick them a bit faster. I should have been doing that. Oh, that's some number. We don't even need them for community center. So we can just kind of toss them. Cool. Well, how about that? Checking for blackberry bushes or any other forageables. No. Cool. Well, I guess I'm going to sell all of that and see what that leaves us with. I'm imagining that's going to be worth. Oh, altogether, I think we'll probably hit 15k today. That's just a guess. Just a, just a little guess. We do need to get that deluxe barn as soon as possible. Get that pig. Grow it up. So it'll be nice and strong but I don't know what I'm gonna do with the blackberries if I'm gonna be completely honest because so oh, also picking bushes doesn't actually give you foraging you have to actually pick it up from the floor so there's going to be a thing that we get probably quite a bit into the future it's gonna be a little bit of an RNG based event but we will get it and it's going to increase the amount of money that we get from these blackberries which right now i want to say they sell for like 40 or so but we could be getting a lot lot more for them so i'm wondering if i should just you know hold off on that it's also unfortunate that we don't have level 10 foraging as well because everything you pick from bushes is always going to be normal quality no matter what which obviously means it'll sell for a lot less money, it'll heal a lot less, it'll give you a lot less energy. But there's an ability at, or a skill I should say rather, at level 10 of foraging on the path that we chose, which was the foraging path, that makes every single foraged item iridium quality. And this is the only way to get any items that you pick from bushes to be anything other than normal quality. And it also doubles how much they're worth. So you can see how much that would have helped but I guess I just didn't focus on foraging as much as I thought I was I was kind of in my head planning all of this for the 14th or the 11th rather because that's when salmonberry season starts in spring and so just without thinking I was like oh yeah it's the same thing it's not it's 8th through 11th which I guess technically we still have a chance to hit level 9 but I already ate my survival burger so who cares and this forging experience is, or this forging level increase is still giving us a chance for higher quality items that we pick up off the floor. So that's nice. Kind of embarrassing to be the only family in town that who lives in a trailer. Sucks, I guess. Hey, hey, who likes blackberries? Because I think we have quite a few to give out. We should actually figure that out. Oh, also it's Monday. It's Monday, so we do have a new thing on the community center board. Okay, style of bed, I ha need 80 hardwood. That's easy, I already have it. I have an idea there's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish something out uh, to make the val valley more beautiful? Okay, uh, I'm gonna do the hardwood. 
I believe all this really gives us is a nice new bed to be able to buy. Oh, we need to gather the hardwood. Okay, well, good thing I didn't go smash up those logs yet. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be some some trips to the secret woods for a good week or so. Yeah, I didn't mention that before, but a lot of the gathering missions that you're going to have off of that board, not only, you can't just have it stockpiled. You have to actually go and get it when the time comes. And so there's also another one that has get a thousand wood in 20 days, basically. And you will not be able to do that unless you already have trees growing, actively growing on your farm. So that's just something to be aware of. We didn't, yeah, I was about to say, we didn't happen to get another level in foraging, did we? No, no such luck. Kind of weird, this is just really going to be the foraging episode, isn't it? Uh, you know what? Let's find out. All right, I now know who likes blackberries. Harvey is one of them. Have a gold one. That's such a nice gift. Yeah, all that. So... This will be a good way to see. I'm I'm not sure what I want to do with it because I could give them all out as gifts because they don't sell for a ton. In fact, I can go ahead and show that right now. But they don't sell for a ton. But they're still we're gonna be getting so many that it's it would sell for a ton. And I guess at that point you just have to weigh the positives against the the negatives which you know makes sense done it i know that you like them you get a silver star one because i like leah go ahead and sell all of our cranberries oh hey whenever remember when i said 1500 yeah scratch that what items were i bringing to people oh i forgot to drop the algae off at willie's and you see, these 35, black bear, bal bleh, bleh, bleh. 35 blackberries go for 770. Not a negligible amount, I will say. But, oh, amaranth is a fall thing? I, for some reason, I really thought it was not. I only need one amaranth, though. I'll do seven grape starters so I can round out a whole quality sprinkler. Uh, who else were we go? We need to go to Marnie for the cave carrot, and that closes at 5. I need to catch Willie before he closes. Well, I don't need to catch Willie before he closes, but I'd like to, at the very least. Yo, yo, what up? I have your algae. Heck yeah, dude. Easy payment, 45 fat stacks. We're living. Looks like de decent weather for fishing. Hey, did I happen to get you to one heart? I did. Don't you love to see it? Now we are truly living luxuriously. Hey, note, don't give blackberries to Abigail. She is one of five villagers who hates them. In addition to, let's see, Haley, Jas, Maru, and Vincent. And it's funny, Maru hates it. Demetrius likes it, though. So the apple fell really far from the tree, I suppose. All right, next up, I should go straight to Marnie. You know, I just... Oh, oh. Marnie, too? Oh, yeah, I guess we did get that threshold, so... Here's a scene for you as well. Oh, you brought the cave care. Oh, this is a scene for that little mission. Thank you so much, Mr. Rob. Cave carrot. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. Why did that sound foreboding? Hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. Neat. She's not selling. Honestly, I was going to buy... Does Marnie like this? Yeah, she's neutral. Yeah, why not? Uh, I was going to buy a goat if I had the chance today, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it. Now that we have so much money, I really don't see a reason not to. Yo, Haley. Uh, I already missed Clint. <laughs> there was just a lot to do today. I'm gonna go, what else to even do? Guess I could try to use a little bit of my new wild bait. I'm gonna go and set up another quality sprinkler 
and put the amaranth and all of the grape starters there. Unfortunately, since we're already eight days in, we're going to miss, I think, two harvests on the grapes, which uh, doesn't kill me. Grapes do give you a lot, like a really good return. So you're not missing out on a ton if you do that. Uh, what was it? One gold, one silver, one refined quartz. And I guess I will move this guy out of the way and we'll call that. So yeah, every three days now, we're going to be getting all of that money again. It's, it's going to be really nice and I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. And I did do the math on it and we will be getting about 70k this season. Oh yeah, it's like a this. Luckily, that's not going to block anything, so set up a, as a circle. I can't reach my sprinkler, but doesn't matter. Water them all. Take care of that. Yeah, this is our first trellis plant that we've had in a hot minute. I don't think I planted any in summer, so it, it's all the way since spring. Before I forget, because I will forget, I'm going to go ahead and do the rounds around the entire town again and grab the rest of the blackberries that have grown up. In addition to not get anything from my fruit cave two days in a row, I guess. Oh, there's the basket. I completely forgot about that request. I guess we'll do that as soon as I can. In fact, you know what? I might be able to hit it on the way back. All right, I wasn't able to collect too many more blackberries. Hey, here's another hazelnut. It's that in the wild. Ooh, another, another hazelnut. The more the merrier. So you might be wondering how to get to that basket. Well... You can actually walk over this direction, and this is actually where a bunch of salmon berries were uh, in spring, and I never actually got to them. There's Linus's berry basket. Easy as that. Yoinked right up. And I think that's going to end our day here. That was pretty much all foraging, which, you know what? It's not every... It's not very often that foraging kind of gets a focus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do you think I can... Okay. This gives me, I have three hours. I'm going to go to the secret forest and cut down those stumps. Don't want to miss out on that. Hmm. I don't think I left myself with enough time. It's so late that we're not even getting the secret forest music, which is not good. Oh, berries do grow here as well. Hmm. You know what? I didn't use a lot of energy today. I might just take the energy hit. Because it wouldn't be terrible, you know? All this for some hardwood. And a lot of blackberries, actually. Holy moly. Crazy. Yeah, it's going to be hitting 12. I mean, I might be able to get back. Who's to say? If I had a bunch of mahogany trees grown, I wouldn't have to do this. Also, another time where the forest farm would be... Please let me out. The forest farm would be a lot more useful than the regular farm. I have an hour to get back. This is, see, if I had my farm totem on me, this wouldn't be a problem. All right, I'm going to do the quickest inventory management you ever did see. Smash all these out into there. Grab as many things for false seeds as I can. Oh, I just have that one common mushroom. Unfortunate. There's always something that's going to limit limit us, I guess. So that was 12 hardwood, so we need... What was it, 80? I think we're going to have to go to the secret woods every single day. We do have mahogany seeds, but we don't have the tree fertilizer to utilize it. Let's see. What do I want to keep? Eggplant needs to go to the bundles. Actually, you know what? I could do a bundle trip tomorrow. If I do end up taking that energy hit, then that would be a good thing. Uh, nothing there. I'm literally just scrolling over all of them to see what I need. Uh, we can take the... That's like it. Wool. Uh, fried egg. Five gold star corn, but we don't have that ready yet. Yeah, that'll do it, I guess. It's not a ton, but we're not going to be having, like, huge, crazy 
trips to the bundles anymore because there's not that much to put back. We did hit level eight farming. You'll love to see it. We can now craft kegs, which is very, very good for us. I might do a few of those. We can make an oil maker and we can now make deluxe speed grow. Thank you.